Welcome to Corporeal IT Solutions Modular Crimp Plugs Instruction Video for 568B Type Wiring. First of all, strip the outer jacket of the network cable. Then, carefully separate the wires. As mentioned, we're going to be using the 568B Type Wiring. We're going to be using a load bar, so basically we'll be creating two rows, four wires in each row. Five six eight B type wiring. Pin number one, white slash orange. Pin number two, orange. Pin number three, white slash green. Pin number four, blue. Pin number 5, white slash blue. Pin number 6, green. Pin number 7, white slash brown. Pin number 8, brown. For the upper. orange, next one a blue, next one green, next one brown. So we've got the two rows of wires now. Now grab your load bar. Remember the holes are on the bottom. So we'll spin it over and we'll slide the load bar onto the bottom row. Should slide on fairly easy. And we'll grab the, the wires for the top of the load bar. So we'll put the orange one on first on the left hand side, followed by the blue one, followed by the green one, and followed by the brown one, making sure that all the wires are pushed into it. That is the load bar. Once we've got the top wires pushed onto the load bar, we'll then slide the load bar down towards the end of the jacket as the picture shows. Ensure the wires are still fairly straight. So when we go to cut it, we'll cut the excess off now with a pair of side cutters. So make sure that the top of the wires are straight. This is going to ensure connectivity is ideal. So it's a nice close up. So now we'll grab the modular plug. This is the fun bit, we'll go and push the cable into the end of the module plug, ensuring that the wires are pushed right to the end of the inside of the plug in preparation for crimping it with a modular crimping tool. There you go, so grab your crimping tool. In our case we're going to be using a ratchet crimping tool. So we'll line up the modular plug inside the crimping tool the cat six cable we're crimping once you've crimped the connector always make sure that you use a cable testing kit to test for connectivity to ensure that all the pins have been connected correctly